Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video where I'm going to be playing the Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross. This is a new game that everyone seems to be on the bandwagon for, and I've been playing it for the past about week, week and a half. Uh, it's pretty decent. I like the combat system in it, um, and I really want to do a comprehensive video of my th thoughts on the game uh, soon. I want to get that out some point this week, uh, but I thought I would just play through a few things today and show you guys exactly where I'm at. Uh, get my daily stuff here. Uh, the issue is, I don't know what half this shit means. Like, there's so many systems in this game that I don't understand what all of it means. Like, what the hell is that? Actually, in fact, I think I know it's like an enhancement. It's like an enhancement material, I think is what it is. Um, and it's only for specific heroes, if I understand correctly. Uh, that is to level up my people. Uh, but it seems like I've almost got all of the ones that I mainly use leveled up right now, so I don't need it specifically. I don't know what that is. That looks like almost a ticket which can be used in a guaranteed SSR draw for the seven. So I get a guaranteed SSR there? Uh, I think I'm going to take the enhanced potions. I think those are the better, best ones right now for me at least. Okay, wait. We're going to go to poll and see if that means, or draw rather. Do I get to draw that without having to pay for it? Maybe I have to go to my items. But yeah, I'm really starting to get used to this game and seeing what it's all about. I want to see what happens. Shit, yeah. Guaranteed SSR hero draw. Starting great SSR heroes only. Let's see our heroes only. Let's see what we get. Alright, moment of truth here. I really like the animation in this game, too. I think they did a really good job with it. I think this this whole animation here, where he fights this big monster thing, is pretty cool. I've also been skipping the story. I haven't been paying attention. I might go back and watch all the cutscenes eventually, but right now I've not been doing that because I don't really give a shit about the story. I will say the... Uh, some of the stuff, like the anime titties and ass and abs and all this stuff, is way over the top in this game. It's ridiculous. Honestly, it's a little too much. Uh, I wanted to go a little bit more comprehensively into that uh, in another video of mine. Let's see what we get here. All right, we got some kind of knight. Tempest Holy Knight Hauser. Let's see what his moves do. Inflicts pierce damage equal to 100% of attack on all enemies. Okay, he's one that attacks all enemies. That's helpful. Uh, and then, okay, just more damage. Inflicts sever damage equal to 100% of attack on all enemies. Sever two times crit chance increased. Okay, so he does damage, but then he does... It does crit chance. And then his ult inflicts damage equal to 350% of all of attack on all enemies, decreases skill ranks, then depletes the ultimate move gauge by the number of skill rank decreases. Wait, then depletes... Th wait. Attack of all... Decreases skill ranks. I don't know what that means. We'll have to see that in, uh, in action. That's pretty cool. Hell yeah. Well, we don't have another draw. So there we go. Let's add him to our list of heroes. So now, look at that. We got two SSRs. We got one to begin with, and now we have him. Let's go ahead and enhance him quite a bit. Uh, you might as well just do as much as we can do. Because he's going to use it all. We want to get... I mean, SSR, I think, is the highest you can pull. I've done, like, probably 30 pulls. Just only on free-to-play. I just, just the stuff that they give you. And... Uh, yeah, I've done about 30 pulls, and I've only gotten one SSR. And I think that SSR was one that was guaranteed at the beginning of the game. So, happy that we got another one. Again, another guarantee. What's this closet? Okay, so, proceeding to the tutorial. Okay, I saw this before. Tired of wearing the same clothes all the time. You can put various outfits, weapons, and cosmetics items in the closet. Costumes that a hero can wear are shown here. Each hero has different outfits they can wear. Let's try putting on an outfit. Change. Oh, I didn't even know I had an outfit for this guy. Wearing that outfit makes you look stronger. Also, a good way to stand up from others. Your stats increase when you put on costumes. Let's go out. Let's go check out weapons and costume items. So last time I checked, oh, okay, I've got. Apparently, you can do weapon costumes too. Here are your cosmetic items. Remember this place if you want to change your look. Sacred Treasure Shop sells various costumes, so feel free to check them out with those selections you have. Even then, they'll begin to appreciate your good fashion. So look at this. I've been... When you acquire a costume, automatically registers implied. Let's learn more. Okay, I guess not. The number of registered costumes can be seen here. New costumes stop registering automatically if you reach the max number of costumes. 
The registered effects of costumes in use are shown here. Each hero has a different number of costumes, so take a look what you have. Registered costumes are displayed like this, making it easier to tell apart. That's enough explanation for now. Here's a gift for a good job. Probably, a, okay, yeah. They give you a ton of diamonds right off the bat. Um, well, let's go to the shop. This is what's kind of crazy. Oh, okay. I didn't, okay. Wait. Okay, I'm kind of confused. Uh, I went to the shop one point. They're selling different costumes for like $30 per costume. I was like, that's ridiculous. Who's going to spend $30 just to have some stat increase? I mean, trust me, plenty of people are, but I just think that it's a little ridiculous. Let's, uh, let's add that one guy to our team. This guy. All right, there we go. Okay, so now we have Milionis. We have whatever this chick's name is, and this guy. What's the point of the sub? That that I don't understand. I've not figured out what the sub is for. I've not really seen him in battle. Does that mean, I guess, if I die, if one of my characters dies, then that comes out? So, I don't know. Let me check into that. All right, so let's just jump straight into some quests. This is the one I'm on. There's a lot of dialogue, um, and I've played and played and played. I've not done a ton of of this game. Like I've not played it nonstop. Like I've not sat and played for like four hours straight. But I've not found a stopping point um, to where you have to wait for the energy. I feel like it comes back super fast. So I usually skip through all this. Uh, I find it amusing. Just look at that. Look at how ridiculous her boobs are. Like they're so astronomically large. I get she's a giant, but like I don't know. Some things in this game are just like come on. I've not got to the point where things have become hard yet. I've done a few of the daily stuff that you can do that has been like harder on me, uh, but I've not had to worry. So this is where we really have to focus. Um, this is the cards that I'm dealt, and each thing does something different. So this, these yellow Milionis ones, let me use him. So when you get them together like that, they combine into level two, and then if you get two more together, uh, they combine into level three. Um, and I can kind of show you how that works, but it's just a single person. Let's try out his moves. I want to see what he does. The, so the first card I use is a triple attack. It's just like a normal attack against one enemy. He attacks all enemies, but he's no good enemies, but he's no good against like solo ones. And then that third card I use was like a counter. So if he attacks my Milionis, there it goes. There, my counter went off. He attacked me, so I attacked him back. Also, I'm already about to beat him. Holy cow, he's low. Uh, my best one is definitely this chick. I should have combined those, actually. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, and then she also has a heal. So she, this, these two moves that I'm using right now are just normal attacks. This guy is super low compared to me, so I'm not worried about losing any of these battles. Like I said, we haven't gotten to the point where battles are difficult yet. I'm sure that's coming up soon. Um, but yeah, we keep going. We kind of blow through these. So like I said, some of the daily stuff that you can do is a little uh, more involved. And you have to actually think about what you're doing. But right now, I've not had any issues. All right, so let's get into... Another one. Let's just keep going on the on the main mission. Yeah, like I said, I've not really followed the story. I might go back eventually to figure out how the story is, but right now I've not really followed it that much. I think it follows the anime pretty closely, and I never watched the anime. I know some people are into the anime. I I don't watch too many animes, um, but I've heard good things about this one. Let's see, since it's only one person, my my new guy that I just got is not really that great because it's a brand new, it's just a one person battle. Like I'm just fighting one person, so it's not that big of a deal. I don't really need him because he's better with AOE and I'm sure his moves do less to just a single person since they do it, since they attack everything. But it's perfect for when you get battles where there's multiple enemies, but right now I'm not having to worry about that. Yeah, like these things just aren't doing anything to me right now. <laughs> If you really wanted to get, so when you move a card, you can combine them like this, but it uses one of your slots. So I will no longer be able to do three attacks now. Um, but let's see what he does when he's got a level two. Why not? We'll use her. She's my level, she's my SSR, so she does more damage individually. Oop. Sorry, I didn't put it on do not disturb. Oh, he's using his ultimate. Okay, so I love seeing the ultimate animations, even from the enemies. They're pretty legit. See, but even his ultimate barely did anything. Barely scratched me. We might try and get in a battle that might be difficult. Uh, I'll do the daily stuff that you can do to get into that kind of stuff. He drew like a million cards. Why is my card blocked out? Oh, wait. He did something to where I'm confused. So I don't know if I can even use... Wait, we're going to try this out because I don't know what happens when, that, when I'm confused. 
I've never, I've never seen this. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to. I'm gonna kill him, won't I? I've never seen that done, so I don't know what that's gonna do later on. I'm sure that means. I wonder if it's like Pokemon where you can hit yourself in confusion. That's interesting. I've never seen that mechanic yet. They give you, they just throw diamonds at you at this beginning. Like, I just feel like I've gotten constant diamonds, which is really cool. I think they def definitely give you, like, a good starting base to try and get new heroes, which I appreciate. Um, I'm not exact. like I said, there's a lot of mechanics in this game, and I've there's a lot of mechanics in this game, and I've not fully delved into all of them. I'm kind of just doing the quests as they come and not really paying attention to really anything else. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more depth that I can really look into and start to get involved with, but right now I'm just kind of trying to get through the main parts of the game to truly understand. I'm starting to understand like the evolving the heroes and stuff like that, um, but and enhancing. But aside from that, I've not really been focused too much on everything. So this is perfect when this guy's going to be coming into action. Is times like this where I can attack all three at one time. You see, he just killed them all in one hit. So that's when he's really my new character is really going to come in handy. Wow, okay, we're already done with that. <laughs> that was quick. Yeah, some of these early ones, like I said, are just really, really fast. So look, I'm at 18 out of 24, but it res it, it refills so quickly. Like the and I and I don't have I've never even used any of my potions that you can get. You get I've gotten like six or seven potions, I think, that can heal my stamina all the way back up, and I've never had to use one yet. Uh, granted, like I said, most of the time I'm playing this game, it's in 20, 30 minute spurts, like most mobile games. Uh, but I definitely want to get to the point where I get to like a really, really long grind session to see if I can finally hit that moment where I'm like, OK, I can no longer do anything in this game. I have to stop. I wonder if that's ever going to be a ever be the case. So there he is. He's going to do the second move and he just killed them all. Sweet. That guy's really good. It seems like I don't know how he is. I don't know the meta or anything like that in this game. And I know there's PvP. I don't know if it's PvP's out yet, but I've heard about PvP. I'm not a big PvP person in regards to mobile games because I know that I'm not going to stand a chance. <laughs> I won't stand a chance against people that are buying a bunch of shit, so I don't really pay that much attention to it. It looks like by the end of this quest line, I get that guy. Seems like I get rewarded with bringing somebody onto the team. Skip this. All right, let's see how we do. Oh, another three-man fight. Again, our new guy is going to really come in handy here. He should be able to kill him with these. Yeah, we'll take him out. There it is. And then the new boss. And then the new boss. Oh, okay, just two, two of these guys. Let's do this, this, and we can heal, I guess. All right. Oh, I didn't even kill that other guy. Rip. Or did that guy just get added? So I don't know if there's another guy coming. Oh, I did counter. There we go. That works. <laughs> All right, that's perfect. So sometimes you get this like boss character that comes in at the end, and that's what I was waiting for. So we still at 20. So they're starting to get better. They're starting to get better and better, and I'm going to get to the point where I'm going to start slowing down my progress. Because right now, I'm just like blowing through all this shit. Like it's not been a challenge at all, but I'm excited once it finally does start to become a challenge. I can start grinding for things where I get stuck. That's when mobile games I feel like really get good is when you can start grinding. Okay, there we go. We took out that guy. Took out his little boss minions. Ooh, we get to see his ultimate. I can't. I'm excited to see his ultimate. Let's see that. Are they called ultimates in this game? They might even be called ultimates. I just I call. Oh my God! Can you get more combined cards? Jesus Christ! All right. Well, we're gonna take him out anyway. I want to see this ultimate. Also, I have my sound off, so I can't hear anything right now, but I'm sure it sounds legit, too. See, just the graphics in this game are really solid. I really enjoy it. Okay, that didn't take him out. Wow, that's surprising. Well, he'll she'll take him out here. For sure. Finished attack. All right, there we go. Another one down. Rank up. See, you also, once you rank up, you get full stamina, I'm pretty sure. So that helps. I seem to always rank up. It seems like when you start first starting playing mobile games, they do that a lot. But I feel like it's I feel like I've been playing. I probably have at least 15 hours. Look at that. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Like this game is just full with tits in your face. And normally it's not that big of a deal, but I feel like it's just so over the top in this game sometimes. So rank 10. Wait, wait. Oh, there's a new thing now that I got rank 10. Set team. 
Setting an associated associated hero increases the bonus stats of the heroes in the team. Heroes who are associated with another hero can grant special association effects or combine attacks which can be used in battles. Let's check out associated heroes. I don't know what the hell that means. Okay. Tap the association slot at the bottom of the hero slot to view information regarding associated heroes. Increases the associated heroes. Oh, wait. Tapping a hero's icon in the list of associated heroes displays the effects that will be applied. If you like the effects you see, confirm the hero by tapping the set. Tap, tapping the set button. I hope this goes without saying, but the higher the associated hero stats, the better the association effect will be. If you don't have the associated hero that you want to use, do your best to recruit them to your team. You'll find the perfect associated hero someday. Okay, so that's a new, a new little thing I can do to all my people. Increase the associated hero's basic stats by 5%. Increase his basic stat by 1% per ultimate move level. Okay. See what, can she do herself? That sounded bad. Uh, same thing with her. Special associate recovery rate 15.8%. Oh, sweet. I wonder if that's set, like, so this person is mainly a healer. That's her ultimate is healing. I wonder if that means all of her healing does that. I wonder if he does well. Crit resistance, 19.7%. Combat class, 1,000. Don't know what that means, but we'll add him. She's already one of them. Let's do that. Recovery rate. All right, we're, we're sticking to it. Sweet. That's kind of cool. It's a new thing to add to the list of things I can do in this game. So let me show you some dailies. How do I go to my dailies? Let me remember. Is it menu? No. Tavern. Let me go to tavern because this, there we go, daily quests. Oh, I didn't turn on my daily quests yesterday. Whoops. Clear. So this Fort, Sol Fort Solgris is where you can get like, like Pokemon Rumble, it's where you basically do the uh, coin rushes where you can get a bunch of gold. I know you can do gold and then there's evolve and enhance. We'll do the gold. Where's the recommended? Okay, this is the recommended. I remember this one is the one I did pretty I did pretty good against. It actually came up. Can I see how we're gonna try the one above recommended? We'll see what happens. This might be dangerous. We might lose this one. But we'll see how far we can go here. I feel like we've leveled up quite a bit more, so hopefully. So I don't like using a lot of them. I like saving up a lot of cards because once these three guys go away. I think there's a couple more, and then they bring in the good ones, and you still keep your same cards. So I want to see if I can get some solid cards lined up here. Okay, they did not take that much damage from that. That is scary. Okay, he's not doing a terrible amount of damage. That's scary how much they tanked all that shit, though. <laughs> all right, let's use both of these. Wait, let's... No... Go here, here, here. That seems like the better move. And hopefully we can get a level three there. All right, we're back to full health. So she's she can heal past all their damage. It might just take a little bit longer to get through all this. There it is. All right, we'll have a level three attack of his. Do we save that for the boss, though? I don't think we necessarily need to save his. We need to be saving... Uh, let's just see what happens if we do all these. We definitely need to be saving big heals. All right, that's doing solid damage. There's the level three. All right, we took out one. Here's his ultimate. Do we save his ultimate, though? That is the question. I bet we can get it back up. Hmm. This is what we're going to do. There's her level three heal. For dangerous positions. Oh, it, you have your person with you now. Oh, that's sick. The associated hero is now connected to me and like does damage with me. Oh, that is cool. Okay, that is a really cool mechanic. Again, that's mostly probably just to give you more things to grind for, but hey, I'll, I'll take it. Hmm. Okay, I don't need to heal for a while, and I, but I do have her ultimate, which heals even more. So I almost want to use it so I can start getting more. Let's go here, here. I want to move that. Let's do that. I probably won't kill him here, but I want to use her ultimate because I'll get her ultimate back pretty soon, as far as I know. There's that. 
Oh, we shouldn't have skipped that. I wanted to see if I can see her little associated hero. All right, that's good. We have two. That's what we're going to do, fam. We should kill him here with this stuff. And we have a bunch lined up for when the boss comes up, so we shouldn't have to worry too much. Yeah, there we go. He's taken out. Here comes the boss. Okay, he's only at 36,000. We're above him. We should be fine. Holy hell, I have all three of my ultimates. We're not going to use all three here. We're going to do that. See how this works. Is his minion with him? No, it's not. It doesn't have the other guy with him. So why is my associated hero not showing up with his ultimate move, but the other guy's is? See how he has a combined attack? I'll have to look into that, see what all that's about. Oh, that other guy's still alive. Shit. Okay, they're not doing that much damage, so that's good. But they haven't attacked Milionis, which is my... He's only a super rare, not a super, super rare, whatever it is. So he's going to take more damage. I want a super rare, not a super, super rare, whatever it is. So he's going to take more damage. I want to use... Hmm. How do I want to play this? I think I want to use him there. And then focus this guy there. That should... There, okay, I don't even have to worry about him. I killed him already. That's good. I was worried about dying to him. We have plenty of heals left, so we should be just fine to get through this. Well, this is definitely taking more time. This is more cards going through. This is the kind of battles I really enjoy. This is when the game shows a lot of depth. I have so many healing. I don't need this much heals. Ugh, I don't even want these heals. I'm almost gonna. Mm, I'm almost gonna guard again. This should put us all back to full health. That heal is broken as shit. I don't know if everyone starts off with her as a super super rare, but I feel like she is broken as hell. There's the counter. All right, sweet. Glad I did that now. Here is his ultimate. Another move by him, and let's hit them both. That should be a lot of damage here. Okay, we know he's, his associated hero doesn't show up with him for whatever reason. There's that guy down. Last but not least, this son of a bitch. I don't think that'll kill him. Nope. So we got probably another... He's got his ultimate here. Oh, he doesn't have his ultimate. I thought he... Oh my god, okay, he's low. I should be able to take him out with these. There's that, that, and if all else fails... She could take him out. Combined attack. Woo -doo, woo -doo. Boom. There it is. All right. So there's a harder battle. That's a little bit more interesting, a little bit more involved. That's when it's really going to start to be good. It's when you start to get more harder battles. But that's really cool. So I'm really enjoying this game. I think it's a really solid take. Um, I'm not big into gacha games typically, but I've really enjoyed playing this game and I'm going to keep seeing how this keeps going and seeing what exactly all I can get. Um, there's just a lot of, lot of things to do in this game and it's just very involved that I want to try and really delve into. Uh, but I will keep continuing to play this game and I will let you guys know how it is. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe for more. Comment down below if you guys have any tips or any questions. I just want to show you guys this game a little bit and show you what I've been doing um, outside of the games that I normally play. Uh, but again, if you guys like this video, make sure you like it. Let me know if you want to see more of this kind of content and I will keep pumping it out. I'll see you guys next time.